Ivan's up. He says, hey guys, follow up on my question last week about WordPress and Google Sites. Bradley talked about a feeder site. This is a new concept for me. Can you explain a little bit or lead me to some resources explaining this? A very simple concept, Ivan. A feeder site is nothing other than a third party site um, or web property period that you use to feed traffic into your main money site or your main offer or whatever it is that you're trying to drive traffic to. That's it. It's just a, what do you call it? You can call it barnacle SEO. Um, there are so many different terms for it, but essentially all it is is just creating entities, properties, right, uh, on other websites, social media sites, platforms, whatever you want to call them, and in ranking those and using those to drive traffic to your money site or your video or whatever your offer is, your landing pages, whatever. That's all a feeder site is. And WordPress.com sites rank well for local stuff. They are, at least right now, they have been for a few months now. Google sites still rank well. Um, especially if you use the drive, you know, the RYS Academy methods and drive stacks and embed you know, all the stuff that we do inside of there. Those are very, very powerful. And that's what I was talking about was using those to drive traffic, not only to drive traffic, but you can use those for backlinking opportunities to your money sites, right? And you can also use them just to crowd out uh, competitors on the homepage for your, for your keywords, or excuse me, on uh, the SERPs for your keywords, right? Because if you rank a Google site and a WordPress.com site, on page one for your keyword, you've just taken up two spaces, right? And so, and then hopefully your your main money site would be ranked or your video or whatever the hell else it is that you want. So that's all a feeder site is. Very simple. <laughs>